Tonight, Maryland's Health Department is looking to track down anyone who may have come in contact with the person believed to have contracted the state's first case of measles this year. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch, and welcome to WJZ's All Local News at 6. For the past two months, we have been reporting on pockets of measles outbreaks across the country. Well, now the state's health authorities say a case has been traced to a person in Howard County. Here's a look at where the outbreak has been confirmed in 12 other states. According to the CDC, cases total more than 220. As for the case in Maryland, authorities say it is not related to the outbreaks in the Southwest. Details about the patient, however, remain limited, except that they had just returned from international travel. But the fact that it hits so close to home can be concerning for parents, especially in Howard County. I do know some families who do not have their kids vaccinated and it does worry me a little bit. So if they could, that would be a good idea. To protect everyone and their kids because we want our kids to be happy and healthy. Vaccinations are, according to health experts, how we contain an outbreak. But what else do we need to know to protect our loved ones? Well, joining us now is Dr. William Moss with the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. His specialty is infectious disease. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Moss. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you, Denise, for having me. Absolutely. All right, we know measles, it's a virus, and it's among the most contagious of all viruses. What else do we need to know about measles? Yeah, so the way measles begins, as you exactly as you said, it's a disease caused by measles virus. It's transmitted through coughing, sneezing, speaking, through the respiratory route, as we say. Um, the illness begins maybe about 10 days after exposure with fever, cough, runny nose, red eyes, what may look like otherwise like a, a cold. Um, but then the rash starts, and that's really what tips people off that, uh, that the case is measles or that someone has measles. It's a red rash that kind of starts on the head and neck and moves over the entire body, um, and that lasts for several days. Um, many people with measles will recover, um, but it can cause complications. It can cause an ear infections, more severely pneumonia, um, severe enough to require hospitalization or death. It can cause diarrhea. Very rarely, it can cause inflammation of the brain, what we call encephalitis, maybe in about one in a thousand cases. Um, and then as we've learned tragically from uh, the outbreak in Texas, it can even lead to death. Which is why we have been so happy for years that it was eradicated, but it's back. So for decades, I know you yourself have researched the measles vaccine. What can you tell us about its efficacy? Yeah, so the measles vaccine is one of our uh, most effective and safest vaccines. Um, it was developed way back in the 1950s, introduced into the United States in 1963. And after the vaccine introduction, we saw the number of cases here in the United States drop dramatically. And as you indicated, you know, we have eliminated measles in the United States. That was declared in the year 2000. We still have measles outbreaks, obviously. Um, and that's because it requires uh, more than 12 months of sustained transmission in order to lose our elimination status. But this is a vaccine, the way I like to think of it, it's a trainer. It's training our immune system to recognize measles virus when we encounter it. Think of, you know, a uh, a musician, a pianist training their fingers uh, to play the piano or a basketball player, you know, doing shot after shot. So then when they get in the game or they get on a performance, they're ready to go. That's what the vaccine is doing to our immune system. It's showing our immune system what the virus looks like so that when, if we encountered it, uh, the, the real virus, what we call the wild type virus that can cause severe disease, our immune system is trained and it has memory. We call it immune memory uh, that's, that uh, will recognize the virus and eliminate the virus from our body much more quickly than if we didn't have that training. Well, for whatever reason, um, vaccination rates have been going down, specifically among kindergartners. They've dropped rather drastically. So if there are parents out there who may be on the fence about getting their child, their toddler vaccinated, what should they know? Yes, well, they should know 
um, that this is a safe vaccine. And I, I do want to say, you know, no vaccine is 100 percent safe or 100 percent effective. But uh, the measles vaccine is a very safe vaccine. Um, and it, it, there are things attributed to measles vaccine that are just not true. Um, and so what this out, unfortunately, Denise, it takes an outbreak like this sometimes to convince people that um, the trade off is really in favor of, of getting the vaccine. Um, parents do not, uh, parents want to do what's best for their child, but they do not want uh, their child to get measles, uh, the complications of measles, and that low risk of, of even having a fatal case of measles. Yeah, which we did have in one child. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. William Moss from Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. We appreciate your insight. Thank you.